everyone, my name is Elin and I thought it'd be really fun to do a video of me doing an eyelash lift service on myself. Um, this service is really good for people that have very flat eyelashes and they want them curled. Um, I know for me, I spend a lot of time trying to brush my eyelashes with the mascara wand so that they can curl, but by the time I'm finished doing them, they go right back flat. So this service is really good for people that have very flat eyelashes. If your eyelashes are short, long, it's good for them too. Um, it just makes you look more flirty. It makes you look more feminine. I, I feel, I feel really good when my eyelashes are lifted. That's actually one type of makeup that I couldn't live without is mascara. As you can see, I don't have any on right now, so I feel really naked without it. But I'm gonna show y'all step by step on how to do an eyelash lift service um, in case y'all wanna do it on your own. And if anyone's interested in getting it done, I do offer this service at my shop. So if you want to contact me, I will book you an appointment for that. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so this is the eyelash perming kit. It's by Pink Zio. I actually get this from Amazon. I had a friend that recommended this to me, um, and it really works really great. This is the only kit that I've had used for the past two years. My mom is committed. I do her eyelashes every six weeks. Um, and I do this as well. I try to do it every six weeks if I have time. Um, typically, I do it every eight weeks. Sometimes it even lasts up to like the eighth week. It's just a little bit less strong of a curl. Um, but I do it pretty much committedly. I'm addicted to this, so I do it all the time. Um, but this is a, the actual kit. It has enough for you to do three people, um, or you can do it three times. It's going to be your own. Um, but you can do up to three. It has everything you need so I'm going to explain to you every item that's in this box so what you're gonna have in this box you're gonna have three types of solutions you're gonna have your perming solution which is a white paste and then you're gonna have your neutralizer which is your second step and it is a blue paste if you can see right here it even says let's see where are we yeah step number one is the perm and then step number two is the neutralizer and then you're going to have some oil. Okay, this is pretty much your step number three. This is your oil. It even says step number three. Let me see, right there. Step number three. And then you're going to have your eyelash glue. Okay, this is the glue that you'll use to put on your eyelashes so that they can stay for when you put the perm solution, it'll stay, it'll stay in place. So you're going to have that as well. And then you're going to have two different sets of eyelash perm rods this is the actual curling rod that will sit on top of your eyelash um, on your eyelids this will be on your eyelids but your eyelashes are going to actually be curled onto the rod so you have two different sizes so this is what the rod looks like it comes in a pack like this i'll actually pull one out for you guys so this rod right here that i'm about to show y'all is a very skinny rod this is considered a small rod Okay, I'll just explain to you the rod while I have this out right now. So it's very sticky. Okay, it's very flexible as well. And this is a small. So the small is going to be for people that have very short eyelashes. Um, it's very skinny, so it can get a really nice tight curl for the short eyelashes. And then you're going to have a different size rod. Where did I put it? It's going to be a little bit thicker. This is what it looks like. It's for people that have um, very long eyelashes. So the reason why there's different sizes is because if someone has long eyelashes and you use a small curling rod, their eyelashes are going to be very, very curly. I mean, it's like a very tight C curl and nobody wants that. You just want your eyelashes to be lifted straight up, not curled into a C. So it's very important that you choose the right size rod for the right size eyelash. So this is the thicker rod right here. And then this is the thinner one. So this one's a small and this one is a large. This is for longer lash people and this is for shorter lash people. Okay. All right. So because I have very short eyelashes, I definitely have to use the smaller rod so that I can have a tighter curl because they're, God, they're so short. But once y'all see them curl, they're going to look so nice. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much that's all included in the actual perming kit. You do need a couple other things. You do need a cup to put water in. You do need some Q-tips. I pretty much use around 20 of these. Um, you also need an applicator stick. 
this is what it looks like. You just need a, some kind of form of stick to be able to put the actual perm solution on and the neutralizer and the oil. You just need some kind of applicator stick. It doesn't matter what it is, um, as long as you can put it on. You can use a Q-tip, just know that you will get the fuzzy part of the Q-tip in your eyelash, but it, I mean, it didn't really bother me when I did have to use that, but you can use that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So yeah, let's get started, you guys. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and do this now. <laughs> so the first thing that you need to make sure is that you have your eyelashes cleaned. It doesn't have any old mascara on them or any kinds of oils on your eyelashes. You wanna make sure that they are perfectly cleaned and um, then you can go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna get out is my actual rod. This is a small because my eyelashes are very short. Make sure that you pick the right rod. So I'm gonna show you all how to apply the rod. So the first thing you're gonna do is apply the rod really close to the eyelash line. So I'm gonna make sure it's behind the eyelashes. You don't want to be on the eyelashes. Okay, so you're gonna make sure you press on your eyelid. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna look over to the mirror right here. And I'm gonna make sure I have it really close. Okay, perfect. So I got it on there. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to brush my eyelashes on the actual rod. Because the rod is so sticky already, all you have to do is kinda press down on it a little bit. Okay. So some of them will not stick and that's okay because you will be using one of these that's included in the kit. It's the actual glue that you'll be using. So I am going to put a little glue on my eyelashes and then I'm going to use a stick, the applicator stick to kind of press down on the eyelashes. Let me just look over one more minute right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I got all of it on there. So let me put the glue. Okay, so you just wanna put some glue on there and then um, Y'all remember I said that these are like the applicator sticks. I'll be using these as well for the glue part. So you're just going to make sure that it actually is laying on the rod because if it's not and you put the perm solution on there, it will not curl the way you want it to. So let me go ahead and do this. All I'm going to do is brush them down. Um, it'll take a minute just to get them down because the glue is still wet. But once the glue kind of dries a little bit, it'll lay on the rod all right i'll be right back you guys let me do this one eyelash <laughs> okay you guys so if you take a look i have all the eyelash hairs on the actual rod i glued them and this is actually the most important part you want to make sure that you brushed all the hairs neatly on the raw. You don't want them to be crisscrossed. And you wanna make sure none of the hairs are underneath the actual rod itself. Once it's in there, you're pretty much good to go. This is probably the only hardest part about the actual service is just getting that done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one done for you guys and then we'll go on to the next step, okay? Okay, you guys, so if you take a look, I have both eyelashes on the rod. Um, this one gave me a little trouble. I even try to record it for you guys, but it just kept slipping. I think I was tearing up, but you want to make sure you have the rods stuck to your eyelids and then have the eyelashes glued to the rod. Once you have that on there, then you can go ahead and get started, you guys. So you're going to grab the white paste and put it on your applicator wand. Once you have some on your applicator wand, you can go ahead and put it on your actual eyelid keep saying eyelid I mean eyelashes so you want to get it really close to the lash line of your eyelashes without getting it in your eye you guys don't get this in your eyes 
please. <laughs> if you need a friend, I would suggest get a friend to do it for you. Or just come see me. <laughs> but this is possible. Okay. So you're gonna get this on your eyelashes just like that. I'm gonna get the other one. Awesome. So once you have all your eyelashes coated in that perm paste, you're going to chill out <laughs> for like 15 minutes. So you're going to put a timer, put it for 15 minutes. Once it's completely done cooking, then you can grab a Q-tip that's dipped in water and you're going to clean it off. So I will come back to that after it's been 15 minutes. I'll see y'all here in a minute. Okay, you guys, so I am done processing the solution on the eyelashes. I'm about to take it off here in a minute. I just wanted to explain one thing. Um, I did get a little bit in this eye, but I think it's because I was trying to apply it on while recording on my phone, and I kind of got it really close to the edge, and I started tearing, and it got in there. So I would suggest um, being careful with that, more careful than I was. And when you have it on there, I would suggest keeping your eyes closed until it's time for you to remove it, then you can open your eyes again. But um, if you do get it in your eyes, all it does is burn it just a little bit, but it does make your eyes red. I would suggest flushing it if it gets worse, but if not, if you got it under control, then you should be fine. Okay, so once it's been processed, you're going to get a clean Q-tip and some water dipped into it, and you're going to remove the actual solution off. Okay, so once all the perm solution is off of your eyelashes, you're going to grab your second step, which is the neutralizer. Um, you guys, by the way, perm solution does not smell great. Um, so this neutralizer will neutralize the smell and um, get rid of the intensity of the chemical. It'll get rid of the chemical off of your eyelashes. So you're going to use a clean, Stick like this again, and you're gonna grab some of that neutralizer and you're gonna put it on your eyelashes. This is a very mild neutralizer, it's really good. Okay. 
Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, once that's on there, that's gonna be on there for about five minutes and then you get to rinse it off. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so the neutralizer has already finished processing for five minutes only. You're gonna get another Q-tip and you're gonna clean it off with the water. So once this part is done, you're going to try your hardest to get the eyelash hairs off of the rod. Without pulling your hairs, of course. And there's a way to that. So I'm just kind of lightly trying to move my hair around on the rod so that it will be easier for me to do the second part, which is put the oil on there. And the whole reason for the step three, which is the oil, is to help nourish the hair so it will not be dry and for your eyelashes to be removed off of the rod as well. Okay, so all I did was clean it off with water and just rubbing the hairs to see that it will be a lot easier to remove. Okay, so once I've done that, now I will be able to get out the oil. So this is the oil, I have a little bit left. By the way, you guys, this is my personal um, kit right here. So I do not double dip for my clients. My actual kit is actually um, a little bit different. It's all sealed in little pouches for each individual client. I rip it and then I throw it away. So just FYI, by the way. But I'm just gonna get a little bit of this oil and I'm going to rub it on my eyelashes because this will help me get the rod off without pulling your eyelash hairs. And then you can get the rod out Perfect. It's 
So I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff off of there with the oil. Look at that, you guys. It's already curled. <laughs> and it's still wet, so it's gonna look more nice here in a minute. Okay, so let me get the other one off. kind of swaying it because you don't want to pull it you just kind of want to slide it off of your hair okay perfect for this part I would probably get a, a cotton round or some tissue <sighs> forgot to mention that you guys I promise your eyes will not be red and you will not get product. I think it's only because I'm doing this video. <laughs> All right. At this point, you can just wipe your eyelashes with water, even your eyelids. You can wipe it off like this, or you can just rinse your whole eyes. Just depends what you want to do. I pretty much rinse my whole whole eyes, but it's up to you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna get a clean Q tip and some more oil, and I'm gonna oil my eyelashes again. Oh my gosh, you guys, y'all couldn't even see my eyelashes at the beginning of this video. <laughs> oh, I got tissue all over this. I think there was still some glue. And the oil also removes the glue off of your eyelashes as well, you guys. That's kind of one of the reasons as well. Have some glue on my eyelids too, a little bit. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. All right, so once you do that, then you can grab your eyelash brush and you can brush your eyelashes and there you go See how curly they are? Oh my goodness, they look so much longer when they're done. I get so excited every time I do it. <laughs> get a little bit closer for you guys. And then if you put mascara on, they will look a lot longer as well. Look how easy it is to put mascara on right now.
You guys, look at that. That is not the mascara. That is the perm that I just did. And this is what it will look like. And they won't look clumpy. And they will be nicely brushed as well. And they're gonna stay long and curly just like this. And that's all I need. Oh my God, thank God I just did this. <laughs> and this is how you do an eyelash lift, you guys. What do y'all think? Tell me what you think in the comments. If y'all have any questions, contact me. Mwah.